Okay, changing it up a little bit today. Uh, doing a a waste pump, water pump for an LG WM2044CW front load washing machine. And the uh, washing machine will not uh, empty the tank out, empty the drum. It's uh, very loud. And uh, we're going to change the pump. I picked this up off of Amazon. Uh, it's a genuine LG pump. And there's the part numbers there. Uh, it's a bit pricey, but uh, I think it was like... 80 80 something dollars here in Canada uh, delivered the thing about it is they do offer some aftermarket ones of these pumps but a lot of negative feedback that they don't last very long so uh, this is a genuine LG uh, pump so we're hoping it's gonna go good so to do this pump of course we're gonna unplug it here uh, we have to uh, take off the front. Uh, the drum's already been drained. You can see that there's a, a drain line here. Uh, you just pull the cap out of the end of the hose and uh, send that to drain. That'll empty out the drain. <clears throat> this, water, this line goes right to the pump housing and uh, you'll be able to empty, empty the drum out of all the water. So... So what we'll do is uh, we'll get started here on this pump. So there's one Phillips head screw right here holding this on. There's different designs. Some have two screws on them. This particular one only has one. And then it's got this plastic cover just snaps out. This here cover just pops out. And uh, I'll just get some tools. Okay, so... Got a Phillips screwdriver here. We'll just take this uh, Phillips screwdriver. Take this Phillips screw out. And like I said, this just pops in. Like I said, some have two screws. There is a hole for a top screw, but not on this particular one. There's only one screw in there. So that's it for there. For now. There are some other screws in there holding that pump on, but we'll get them out after. So we're gonna come up here. I do have to take this apart. Four Phillips head screws for this particular model. Just because we have to lift up on the The top cover uh, because we got to get two screws to take the front plate off so we're just gonna pull this off see how rusty that is in there and uh, we're just gonna come around to the back a couple screws here
in this top just has has too little you'll see when I take that lift that up you'll see it's got those two snaps uh, retainers they're just friction fit retainers so you just get a screwdriver in there and just pop them open so those are the two screws one there and one there that we got to get out because uh, we need to take the front off but a couple things we got to do here Got to take the door lock switch off. The wire connector is very difficult to get off. So as others have stated, here's the the trick is just take this switch out, unhook it from the front here like this. It'll just drop inside, which is fine. And then we'll grab it after. And there is a spring that we need to get off. There is a special tool for it, but we're doing this on the cheap. So you can see the spring, hopefully. And that's just uh, holding that front seal on. So we're just gonna pop that seal out of there. You can see that. Pop that spring off that seal. And then we're gonna, there's a little lip, and we just wanna take this off here. Just tuck it in behind. Because we're now gonna take this front, this front piece right off. And to do that, we've got the two screws that are left. Easier to do if you had two people, especially videoing, but we're going to make do here. Number one. Sorry for the shaky video. And there's number two. There is uh, two other screws in there I forgot to tell you about. To get this front off. And I'll try to get them so that you can see them. Right here, one, two, two Phillips screws. So we'll just pop them out. There is a couple screws, uh, or at least one more holding the pump on. Pretty sure. Oh, I'll have to have a look. Let me get this off. So you can see how that looks. Uh, that front just lifts right off there. It's sitting on these uh, L brackets here. If you can see that, it's just sitting on those. Uh, next thing what we gotta do is I'll try and get a light here so that you can see it. So there's two screws holding that bump on there. 
one too. Uh, this is the hose that goes out to your drain. And inside there, you can see that we've got the, from the washing machine drum, this hose comes off of there, a clamp on there. And then we have the hose. This was the hose that I was talking about for the drain. You can see that it hooks up back in there. I'm sure you can see that there. So we're just gonna pull that hose off. It just pulls off. There's no, there's no clamp or anything on it. There's still a bit of water in there. Coming out of there, I'll just put that back on and get a rag. I thought we'd drain that all out. Alrighty, but. I have a floor drain right here, so I'll, what I'll do is I'll pull that over closer and put that into drain. Okay, I just got that hose going into the floor drain there just to finish draining that out. And uh, so what we got going on in there is we just got to get some hose clamps off inside. And we'll just use a pair of pliers to get those off. I just grabbed what I had handy. Uh, it's just a pair of ice grips for now. So that's the, the hose for the drain. Get some light on here. So that's the, as I mentioned, the hose that goes up to the drain. So we're going to make sure that's clear before we put the whole thing back together. We'll run some water through it. Um, inside, we also have the hose for the drum to take off. So we'll just take off the clamps on that one. Again, that just pops off. You can see, you can see that that just clamp just comes there and uh, pops off there and we've got two screws left here and here this is the uh, filter just so you know I'll take that out so you can see what that is this is the filter that you would regularly maintain uh, there's a little bit of crap in there still so we'll clean that out after but yeah that's what that is there that back in there so we'll just grab our Phillips and take out these last two screws just pay attention to the length and the type of screws that are here because they're different than the the ones that were holding the sheet metal together So that's the two last screws. We'll pull this hose off for the drain that we were just draining into that floor drain. And I'll put that cap back on there. And so now we're just gonna pull out the pump. It's got a couple of wires going to it. Just remember which one is which. In my case, the light brown ones on the top and the black ones on the bottom. Yours might be a bit different, but should be similar. They're just spade connectors. So you just pull them off. You can see what they look like. So there we have the pump. Now, a little bit of trick to get that out is there is a... Uh, I'll shine the light in there. There's a little tab that you have to push down right here with your finger. You see that? You just got to push that down in order to slide that uh, out the bottom because there's a little, there's a little piece right here. This piece right here goes into that groove right there. So you got to push that little tab down in order to slide that out. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this pump and put the new one in. 
So you'll just want to remember the orientation of this uh, of this pump because you got to watch which way it comes apart. Um, like with the rotation on side on this um, pump housing. Okay, so you'll just take note of it and. How I'm taking note of it is just the flat side here, which correlates to this. And uh, it's, you know, if we compare it to here. So what we'll do is we'll just take out the one screw that's holding this outer plastic case on. So there's one here. And then this part here will, uh, it'll come off. It's a little tricky. Because um, you gotta you gotta slide that slide that unit out, and so if you it helps if you just push up on on that plastic and slide it slide it off because it'll want to catch on the on this. So you just pop that off, okay? And then there's two other screws holding holding this unit on. There are two Phillips head screws. We'll get them loosened up. And this unit will just pull out of the... So you can see that this one is like totally loose. It's not supposed to be like that. You can see the new one is nice and tight. There's no movement on it at all. It's perfect. So what we're going to do, grab some paper towel, Clean that out real good. Surface looks really good. And uh, it just has an O-ring in there. So what we'll do is we'll put this back in. You could put a little bit of uh, uh, lubricant on that o-ring if you wanted don't use any silicone glue but you could put some paste on it like silicone paste that's uh, okay for rubber um, in this case I just put it on the way it was cover back on here Stop this back on put our third screw in that's all there is to that So, we'll go back and get this off that side. Get our wires hooked back up again. Brown on the top, black on the bottom. And don't forget, you have to slide that 
I'll try and show you that. Get a little light in there. So like I talked about, there was uh, that little groove. I think you can maybe see it. I'll point the screwdriver to it right here. And so this piece has to line up inside there. So you just set it down flat and then move it in. Dollars to that, it's back in place again. So we'll hook the screws back into it, get her tightened down, put all the hoses back onto it, and uh, we'll come back. So we got all the hoses hooked back up again, and uh, we're gonna put the front cover back on. But don't forget, I talked about the latch mechanism. So. This this latch mechanism uh, screws to the front of the front of the uh, machine, so it just when you put the front back on, don't forget to hold this while it's still out. You can hold this from the back side and just put the two screws in through the front. Uh, it's a very easy job to do. Um, some people choose to take the connector off, put the switch back on the door, but it's kind of finicky, and this is very easy to just. Put back on and put the screws in it so so like i was saying if you just hold this back you can get your hand around in there and just hold that switch in i got the one bottom screw in already so then you just uh, tighten them back up again much easier than trying to get the connector on good Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're just going to set that back in to place. So we got the uh, screws back in here. After we, you have to lift that up just to get this angled back in again. It can only go in one way. So you have to just tip that lid enough so that this will angle in and uh we'll just come back and we'll put the put the water softener and the soap tray back together that just slips in there it slips back in there And we'll just put the four screws back in. All right, so all we have left to do is put this, uh, put the two screws back down in here, and uh, which are right there, and then we'll put that plastic piece back in, and uh, we'll give it a whirl. So I thought I'd shoot a little video, um, just a little video follow-up, and uh, let you know that uh, I'm just doing a, a little load of wash.
and this will be pumping out any moment now I'll let you listen to it there it goes nice and quiet really good so very pleased with that good job LG pump Amazon.ca